But too many children are getting hit on Utah's roads this past month, bringing a troubling trend in crashes. Today, we are kicking off our Stop for Students campaign to keep you and your family safe. News specialist Lauren Steinbrecher joins us live from Cottonwood Heights. After a driver hit a boy in the crosswalk there recently, we've got a message uh, from troopers. Such an important topic. It doesn't matter, Lauren, if you've got kids or not. Everybody drives. Everybody walks. It's important to stay safe. Absolutely, Dan. And in that case here a few weeks ago, police said that young boy, he had grabbed one of these flags. He had waited for cars to stop. But even then, that wasn't enough. And that is why troopers are urging people to take every single safety precaution, whether you are here on the sidewalk or you are out driving on the road. Hi, Ellie. Kids shuffle over to cross at the spot where, after school just a few weeks ago, a driver hit and critically injured a boy. Crossing guards keep drivers at bay on this morning. All right, Ellie, come across then. While battling the recent decrease in daylight that UHP day. says is causing an increase in problems. We do see a spike in pedestrian-related crashes and fatalities during the, the fall and winter months. That's why UHP is hoping to see a different increase in awareness and taking safety steps. For drivers, that means paying extra attention around crosswalks, stopping if you see someone, and don't assume a pedestrian is waiting for you to drive by before they cross. And keep that phone down. Make sure that your attention is on driving, and then we don't allow distractions to creep in. Well, for pedestrians. All right, you three. UHP says stick to crosswalks, grab that flag, and use the signal if there is one especially for kids going to and from school and going home in the dark following after school activities. Never assume that a driver sees you. Make that eye contact with the driver before trying to cross the street. UHP also suggests investing in safety gear. We need to make sure that we're being seen as much as possible. That means we're either wearing reflective gear or we're uh, making sure that we have some type of lights. Whether you or your child is on the sidewalk or you're the one driving on the road, don't let the lack of daylight leave safety in the dark. And for some of those gear recommendations, safety vests like this, a light like this, this actually has a hook on it so you could hang it on like a backpack or something like that. And it has some functions to kind of keep drivers aware. Wear a headlamp if it's going to be dark out. That way, if you don't need to see, drivers at least will see you. Now, one final thought, Dan. In the case uh, here a few weeks ago, the boy luckily survived, but police believe the driver was driving impaired, and that is why this crash happened. That's why they say do not drive impaired. Don't even drive fatigued to keep people safe, Dan. Yeah, and we say you can't be too careful. We don't want to be helpless or hopeless. Uh, we want to be part of the solution. Lauren Steinbrecher reporting. Thanks, Lauren.